have not subscribed and you're watching this video please subscribe to support me i need your subscribe and i also did another video where i showed you about me connecting the uh the unlil live link with the uh, unlil agent which i'm going to start showing you soon so this is what we animated we did everything this one we took this uh 3d um what do we call it let me just check here on the content um i want to oh th this uh, 3d background or the 3d screen height map we put it here then we added some houses we added some trees we added some grass here and now we still do something to animate those two people if we pray you see that they are well it all started back in 2005 when we were developing a tool to create 3d animation to render um animated videos eventually it grew into a very interesting application for most of us here that at the time we ourselves didn't even anticipate so uh that is what we did yesterday and there are so many things so i'll not repeat everything on this video so um today i wanted to for us to now to continue animating and trying to make it so much creative and i was trying to check whether we can have some effect here now that one i'm not going to use film style no um maybe we can try to, to look for the property you can just try come here and look for what i was looking yesterday was a particles and and we not find the stone where they are and today i promise you that i'm going to shake for where so what is pop so uh you can try to shake on so i don't want to waste too much time here and looking for where the stones are but um here we have water we have sky i'm trying to see this is uh see no more uh-huh video dies yes like let's try to add this and I'll see what is going to no and this one yeah, they look like they are burning now so let's make this one go back and that one we don't need it and we can try to look for another things like we can add so water um hmm. i was thinking if we can try to move this one here and i will rotate this one and now we can move this one a bit and we go inside the forest and I will rotate it back. Let me just move a bit. And we can try to add this flowing water. Let's <laughs> see where it came. Well, it all started back in 2005 when we were developing a tool to create 3D animation to render um animated videos eventually it grew into a very interesting application so for most of us here that at the time we ourselves didn't even anticipate let me go back and move and i try to
to move this one back so that we can see where our character AR and let me see well it all started back in 2005 when we were developing a tool to create 3d animation to render um animated videos eventually it grew into a let me first of all remove that one in now we can go back and before i would like to add still one animation so i would like to uh come here and i'll show you something like you can see here we have only total flame of 1800 so i like to make one this one look like 5000 and um, now we can check on everything and now if we close this one now we can extend this one here and we put it to where we want it so if like i play well, it all started back in 2005, when we were developing a tool to create 3D animation, to render, um, animated videos. Eventually, it grew into a very interesting application for most of us here. That, at the time, we ourselves didn't even anticipate. So, now we can come here, like we can stop it there. And now we can come here on the window and like you can see our timeline is not active so if we click there we have the timeline here and now we can see our transformation where like i have to put this one a bit up because i want to show you something here if we move this one um let me put it like uh -huh. so um i want to see where this animation adds so like you can see there there was no animation and this is what um so um there's something i don't see here because if i come and i add a new like let me put this one back there and i come and i add a new animation like i want to see this man uh male one pose no motion plus male and now I want to see him talking as okay. I'll have to select that character and now I can click him and now he is up. Okay. So if that is the case, then we would need to take it up with the users and the fans, mm -hmm. as they are the ones that know what they need, mm -hmm. and they are the reason that we do what we do here. It is all fairly simple. You do see it, right? So why turn this around? There is no need to make heads or tails out of it. Okay. So we can see like when you he talks up to somewhere there, you see. From here. Somewhere here. To make heads or tails out of it. So I can bring this one there. And now I'll try to look for where this woman is stopping to talk because I'd like to participate. So uh, 
one step back when this man sit down we can come here to the female and now we can try to look for a motion where the ID like perform and now we can try to change her motion into like um I want to to do something like uh I don't want to make it so complicated so I want to not dance sit and talk we can try this one no let's move we did a mistake there so I click hiding and now we can make her sit and talk so now like you see she's sitting but there's no as you saw if we do okay so if that is the case then we would need to take it up with the users and the fans uh -huh. as they are the ones that know what they need and they are the reason that we do what we do here it is all fairly simple you do see it right so why turn this around there is no need to make heads or tails out of it good um i think i'll have to leave it so now we have added here uh this f woman is sitting down but there's a problem the, we don't have the seat so we come back here like i showed you yesterday to the props to this and then we come to the plops here i i'm looking for those plops and now we have the other plops and now we can look for ah uh, guys sometimes it's so like when you have to let me check here hot not installed no i don't want that one i don't want that one So I'm looking for the seat. Sometimes I forgot where I, I found them. Okay. Now we can come and look for the eye prop. Not there, not there. Uh, billboard service. I can click here and I try to move this one down. Ah, this was what I was looking good. So I was looking for the rocks and here I found them. So we can try to move those lock like we can first of all uh, move this one back. We come and animate her back and i like to make this place look a bit good so i would double click there and i can take this lock here uh, this is too big so let's let me try to replace it with another one that is small but it's also too big um like i can take this one and then I can come here and I say I want to scale this one. So I can do this way here. Let me first of all delete everything because they added everything here. So I can make this one look small. like that and then I can rotate it like this and then I can move it toward this place here I come here and I do like this and still I rotate it back and this is what I want to bring here.
here. So I want to bring this one still move in the front of them. And then I want to scale it a bit. So I can make it small and until I feel comfortable where that they look like something attractive there. And then what I'll do is that I'll come there and I'll, I'll remove object animation. So now I've got that one and I can come back here and I say I want to light tools and I can take like, mm -hmm. let me check which lamp it. I can take like, uh, let me first of all double click, take this lamp. I have this lamp here. And I want to move this lamp. Move this lamp. So I come here and I move this one back and now I can still move this one let me rotate now a bit I can see this lamp in a good position And I can put this lamp. So if you see like if I have lamp here, I have here this button. This button can make this blight or make this dark. So I can play here and I try to animate this light to see how it look like. So if I make like this one, uh, amp will go off. If I make like this one, this lamp will be blight. So let me first of all rotate it this way. And now you see our light is not is still not there because I need to move it. So you have to shake which direction that to remove this light to the position where you want. So I can put it like there, and then you still need to rotate it back to shake whether is where you want to see it. Like you can do like this way, and then you move this light a bit. good now i think it's good centered you can shake on all direction and now you see this light is there so the thing that you don't have to forget don't forget to remove this light animation so now we are having more things on our animation but still we miss something we miss the seat and that is what i was looking for we have this board, we have dragons. Uh -huh. Let's see what is here on the nature. As in that one, we don't need it. We can try to look for more things for what we need on our animation. So I can click here. And I try to see whether there are some more things that I can use on my project. So, um, 3D Brock. I was still looking for 2D images, video images, so living room. This is what I was lighting now. Oh guys, sometime when you don't find what you need, there is also stupid like animated. That's why sometime animation is about your creativity, it's not what you you have some time to spend too much time and try to see where those all those things they are. So 
this idea how for seat and now I don't find it and new not there there is not and by props so I think it uh, must be somewhere here but where exactly I can try to become creative on the on my own way and maybe I can take something like so I can double click and I can take something like this one and now let's see if I have this one here so I, I move this one I bring it here and those are small things but sometimes if they don't match they also appear on your video the same way and this one is uh, I, I lost this so I have this one this one is what I wanted to move So, and then I'll just rotate and move. This is much so sometimes not easy work to do. You need to sacrifice your time to be able. So I put it there. And now I can move. And first of all, I have to delete this shear because I don't need it. And now I click this one and still move it still and I'll put it now where this girl is and I'll update it to see where it is you have to move every direction to see where your object is whether it is on the like position and I put it there you can try to put it down that it look like a seat and now if i come back now i can try to pray now you see that this girl is there so now you can move your object toward where the girl is like that and now if you she she wake up now So let me first of all remove this object animation and now if she wake up and she talk she will not move to this object. So this is the way that you can try if it doesn't fit like she's working on this seat you don't need to force it you can become creative on your own way. So I can also move this one a bit and make her look like she is already sitting on this thing here and then I don't forget always to remove object time issue because it will move and now if you look she still touches this object and this is so stupid sometimes because you have to you can waste a lot of time with this thing here good uh, you can move it if you see that's the problem and you can try to rotate this one a bit and still check again whether the girl is touching it like there this one you can hide with the camera so now you remove object animation and now you try when she sits she sits there and she's talking so the other the other part is um this thing doesn't make me look I, I i see like she's sitting so far away from this object so i can move it a bit there and then remove object animation um exactly so let's see and now she's walking again oh guys ah this is sometimes so too much stupid work so oh, not easy sometimes you need to breathe in and out and shake on what to do 
So let me see what happened when she remove object animation and then see now you see now she is sitting again on top and when she wake up she is walking on it and this is what I don't want to see because it doesn't make to me good so I'll try to remove this object animation now I, I double check what is happening okay I leave it like that so um I go back to content and I want to go back to sky and now to my sky I can make them dark because I have light here so now if I check here you can see like if now I come I start playing my animation well, it all started back in 2005, when we were developing a tool to create 3D animation to render um, animated videos. Eventually, it grew into a very interesting application for most of us here, that, at the time, we ourselves didn't even anticipate. Let me see where she's walking on it inside there. And I try to rotate this box inside. So I can try to make it like that. And I try to move it a bit back. I can come here rotate everything and I try to move this box a bit to this side so if now I come back this box will look exactly there and let's see when she sit down whether remove object animation yeah she's sitting on it and now we can try to see whether she was walking on it again so now the problem now we have is that we can move it a bit so that when she sit down she's sitting on it good so this one you have to play it on your own and to see whether it's working the way you want so I'll remove the object animation and I leave it like that way so the other part i'll show you what we can do we can hide the other part with a camera like here you see she is sitting so far away from this box and this is what i don't want to see so uh i move it a bit in front because she was walking a bit on that side i come back here i move this one a bit in front and now I remove object animation and I'll try to see you see when you view this camera on front you see you have been able to hide this box so Now the other thing you can do, this box will have to be in a position where she can sit on it good. Remove object animation. So you see she's not walking inside it, she was walking a bit outside. So um now we have our um, animation everything is animated and now um, I want to make this one look like uh, a video so I can start back here where this one is there and now I zoom 
inside everything I zoom inside everything there and I come here and I say uh, on the edit say uh, create camera if I click no that is not that is long way so let me see here auto level and then create and I say create camera so if you now you see you have now here camera it before when we're animating you have to make it on preview when you put it in the camera it is start now playing this camera motion so I can move this one up to somewhere there and now I move back there and now I move there and now I can be able to lot it or to move this one up a bit inside and also lot it a bit and then I move this one here that our character we can see our character good and then I move like that one and now what you can do when it is like that one I can try to lot it and I move this one to the position where I want to see it so I can move like this one and um, I balance this one that look good so I put this one there I come back and now when he is talking you can try to rotate everything maybe you can bring him there that we see him good and when the this one is talking then we can move back and we put this one there and move this girl's face with the light and now for the final we can move everything back like that one or we move it back and now we can rotate everything and we try to match where we want to see everything in the camera like that so now if we put back and play our camera well it all started back in 2005 when we were developing a tool to create 3d animation to render um animated videos you can see our camera eventually it grew into a very interesting application for most of us here position we are with. that, at the time, we ourselves didn't even anticipate. Put it everything. So this is a simple trick of you animating and... Okay, so if that is the case, then we would need to take it up with the users and the fans, you want to see. as they are right. the ones that know what they need, Premier and they are Premier the Premier reason that we do what we do here. It is all fairly simple. You do see it, right? So why turn this around? There is no need to make heads or tails out of it. To pray with your own way to make it um, look the way you want. So the other thing I'm going to do is now to, when I'm certified, I can. So if you, I have to come another thing to teach you about this timeline because it's the timeline here you need too much so I can come on like screen and I come to the camera and here it will show me the camera that is playing so if I this one is show and if I can hide this camera so now if I come here and I say that I want to let up and let's say I want to let a video and I'll let it at uh, this a video format mp4 
and I can render my video to 720 I'll choose more I like a HD so if I choose that one will be a good quality I like uh, this HD 1080 so um, let me see where it's going to be saved because that is also important So like if you see when I'm moving my camera, this one is showing so I can double and I can click there and I choose this one is what I need. I make this one a bit big. And uh, I want to see where my video will be saved. There's something I don't see here. original size so you can leave the other things the same way so let me just click or oh, it will ask me where i want to save my video so i can come here and i say uh, test tutorial so we saved but we saved it on the light position so it will start now ladling those frames this can take a long time according to how but uh, I'll make this short and then I'll show you this video when it is finished so uh, bye for now